guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today I'm going to be showing you the Goldfish Mega Tank. I'm going to be talking all about how I do my maintenance, what I feed the fish, what fish I've got in there, the filtration, and basically an overview on the entire system. I feel like it's been quite a while since I've shown the full system, how it all works, how I look after all these massive goldfish in this tank as well. So I thought let's do a little recap, see how the fish are doing in general, and just see how I run the tank. Let's head around the front of the tank and take a look at what fish we've got in the goldfish mega tank. Hopefully, as you can see on the screen, we currently have nine jumbo arounds in the tank. Well, we do have one calico around the right at the end, which I wouldn't class as jumbo, but I would say the rest of the fish we have are of jumbo size. As you can see, they are absolutely ginormous. I would say the majority are seven to nine inches in length. We may even have one that is around that 10 inch mark in length. Now there is eight of these fish and then there is a calico as well. I'm not sure if you can quite see on the screen, but that calico is around six to six and a half inches. I would say it's got a little bit more growing to do. Now we have Nero here, we have Clementine, we have Aurora, we have Rambo, we have the new one which doesn't have a name just yet. We also have Oreo and we also have Calippo. And this other calico doesn't have a name just yet. As you may have seen a few weeks ago, probably around three or four weeks ago, I removed all of the substrate in the tank and fitted a new filter system. Now I explained why I did that because I really like the bare bottom look. It also meant I could keep the water crystal clear and we are actually growing an algae carpet, which I will show you in just a moment. Now this algae carpet is ripping through the tank. It is growing at a much faster rate than I expected and it looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm sure by the time this video comes out, whilst I'm recording it in around two weeks that the algae carpet probably would have covered the entire bottom and back of the tank as well. So I would say by the time you're actually watching this, I probably do have the full algae carpet on the tank. I know it's going to be very hard to see the filter because we have this absolutely huge ficus in the way, but I thought I can briefly explain how it works. On top I have some filter fleece and often I don't actually have this filter fleece on there. I just put it on occasionally to remove any fines within the water column. Then it's followed by a medium and a coarse sponge. And then below that we have all of our biomedia. Now if I tilt the camera just a little bit, you can see this biomedia runs all the way from the top up here, all the way down the bottom. And we have currently about 35 kilos of media in. Previously I had around 30 kilos of media in there but I have since added two more bags of alpha grog which I managed to get from another fish keeper which they weren't using. You also see right here we have this 25 watt UV light. Now this UV is plumbed into the tank as you can see here so we have the inlet and then it goes out back into the tank now down there i've actually chosen to upgrade the pump now you won't be able to see it on the video but there is a 5000 liter halia water pump down there so that is turning over this aquarium approximately every 2.8 to 3 times an hour which means we get absolutely great water clarity which you'll hopefully be able to see through the side of the tank tank. So that is how the filter works. We have that 25 watt UV, we have the mechanical filter up top, and then we have our biological filter as well. There is also space if I want to add any sponge filters to cycle for a quarantine system, and there is also space for a bag of carbon as well. So that water flows up those pipes and returns back in the tank right at the back here. You can see, actually see the flow going over the filter fleece just here into that filter and capturing all of that dirt. Now this filter fleece has only been put in a couple of hours ago and you can already see what it's captured out of the water. So that is the filtration system on the Goldfish Mega Tank. And now let's take a, take a look at the lights. So you'll notice we have two lights above the tank here. Now these are actually reef lights. These are the Hydra 52 HD Marine Reef Lights. Now I've actually used these on a reef in the past. 
but I decided as I had them, I might as well use them on the Goldfish Mega Tank. Now, these two lights behind me, each of them is running at around 70 watts, and that is what's helping attribute the growth to the green carpet algae down on the bottom. Now, I wouldn't say 70 watts per light is too much considering the size of this tank. This tank is eight feet long, it is three feet front to back, and it is two and a half feet in height, and it holds around 1,600 and 20 liters of water so it holds a lot of water so i would say considering we don't have a huge amount of light above the tank if you compare it to a slightly smaller tank like a four foot tank so that is the lighting system we've covered the filtration system back there we've spoken about that green carpet algae and also our filter media we've also had a look at the fish as well now let me talk to you a little bit more about my maintenance now on this tank, obviously you can see it is a huge amount of water and I have quite a few large fish in there. Now I do a water change once a week, which is approximately 40%. Now what I do is I drain it out into the drain in the garden and then I fill it up from the tap and I dechlorinate it with Seachem Safe. Now this is a powder and I bought the tub of powder for around nine pounds off Amazon and that treats 240,000 liters. So it means I think I have around 300 water changes worth of powder in that little tub. If I'm doing one water change once a week, that means I'm doing 52 a year. So I've got nearly six years use out of a small nine pound tub of Seachem Safe. So I definitely cannot argue with that absolutely bargain for money. So that is the water change schedule on the tank. Let's talk a little bit more about feeding. Now, obviously you can see I have some very big fish and they demand a lot of food, which is why I actually use an auto feeder on this aquarium. Now, many people at home will advise not to use auto feeders in case they malfunction and deposit a huge amount of food with into your tank. And I would say that is definitely something to think about. You can also see that actually the sunlight is now coming through in the afternoon through the tank and the goldfish absolutely love it. And they look absolutely spectacular in that sunlight. They just look absolutely phenomenal, but back onto the auto feeder. So I have an auto feeder right at the back of the tank. That is the Eheim auto feeder. So here is the Eheim auto feeder, as you can see. I currently use this to feed the tank four times per day. And this puts out enough food for the goldfish to consume within about 30 to 40 seconds. So nothing too major, but this feeds four times a day. And then I also occasionally give them some Rapashi Super Gold. You would have seen in a video about four weeks ago, I did a review on the Rapashi Super Gold. I spoke about the ingredients. So if you do want to see that, I'll put a little link up in the top of the video for you to view that one. And the Aranda absolutely love this. I also feed some frozen food. I feed cyclops, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, beef heart, and blood worms. I have a huge drawer in the bottom of the freezer and I feed around five cubes of frozen food a day, which is not that much for this number and size of fish, but I generally do that every single day, around five cubes. Now that is the gel food, the frozen food, and the auto feeder. Next up is the main diet of these fish and that is pellet food. Currently I am finishing a bag of fast and grow. This is the Sitaniti Hawkel goldfish food from Thailand. So that was actually purchased from a old shop that imported that from Thailand. So I'm actually just finishing that up. I also have some Kenta food as well. I believe this one is the Kenta high growth yet so i've got some kenta high growth food there i'm just finishing a tub of that up because a few people did send me some foods and i'm just finishing those up but generally they receive a different mix of pellets lots of different pellets and i just mix them all together feed that along with the gel food the frozen food and the auto feeder that is up in the top corner provides four feeds a day of that. So I get four feeds out of the auto feeder. I also generally feed them about four to six times as well myself. One of that is frozen food and the other three to four, maybe sometimes five is pellets as well. I give them some pellets in the morning and then in the evening, I normally feed them about three or four times as well. So they do get quite a bit of food, nothing too excessive. They're not gonna be growing absolutely crazy on this food because they are already quite a size as you will be able to see. But that is what I feed my fancy goldfish. 
So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the fish in the tank, seeing how well the tank is doing now without that substrate and then ripping that massive water lady to shreds. They are doing so, so well. The colors are changing on the fish. I've noticed a lot of the black has actually come off the two orange fish that I have. This one here, Rambo and also Calippo. The black coloration has faded back off those and they've gone orange again, which I would say is a happy which means they're happy and is a positive environmental factor that is causing that loss of black color. So as I mentioned, that is it for today's video. If you do have any questions on the Goldfish Mega Tank about the filtration, the fish, the feed, etc., please leave a little comment down below. But hopefully you've enjoyed seeing this little recap of the tank and the filter and seeing how I look after these fish. Nothing too crazy, nice and easy maintenance. I would say water change takes around one, one and a half hours once a week and I just sit, let it do its thing and then I just feed them basically. Clean the sponges once a week, nothing too major. Nice and easy tank to look after and I absolutely love enjoying watching these fish. So that's it for today's video. As always, thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.